Who's excited for the YouTube makeup tutorial comeback? Hey, I don't know about you guys, but I literally feel like these days, everyone is always going on about trying to find the perfect dupe, trying to find a product that emulates another product. But at the end of the day, like all you care about if the product is good, if it's affordable, and if it actually works. We all know that NYX Professional Makeup has products that literally stand the test of time. I feel like almost every single product that they bring out goes up viral on TikTok. So I thought I'd do a little makeup tutorial to show you guys my favorite products. So we're gonna start off with brows first. Always fine, whenever I need to do my eyebrows quick, pencils are the quickest way to go you can literally pop them in your makeup bag you don't have to worry about a separate brush the powder getting everywhere it literally has a spoolie on one side and then on the other side you have your pencil the main thing whenever you look for a pencil though is that you want something that's quite fine the chunkier the pencil is harder to get control you can't get precise brow hairs so the NYX professional makeup micro brow pencil is perfect can you guys see how thin this is as well so you're able to literally draw hair like strokes so what I like to do with my brows is I just draw a quick outline of the rough shape you guys know that my brows are already micro bladed so I'm literally just following the shape and getting it a little bit more prominent because after you do foundation you know sometimes get a little bit murky and you literally see just by filling in the ends it just gives that definition back to the eyebrows I like to use the pinky of my finger and I just balance on my cheek and that just allows me to do really light strokes and especially when you get to the front of the brow as well I literally just do like tiny little flicks just to lightly fill in any sparse gaps if I ever make a mistake and it kind of looks a bit too harsh I like to flip around and use the spoolie and just brush out that pencil and it just instantly gives you that softened finish to your eyebrow okay so the next step is eyeliner and I feel like I am the queen of eyeliner I feel like I've mastered the technique I can do my eyeliner with my eyes closed probably <laughs> and it's all down to this product right here I have been using the NYX professional makeup epic ink liner for years look at how fine the tip is it is also so black as well if you want the product to be more black and inky you just need to shake it a little bit and it's literally like full on like black liquid liner. Number one tip is you need to position your head in the right position. I also see a lot of people when they do the eyeliner, they're kind of like trying to close one eye and pull in their eyelid skin. But then when you open your eyes, it literally looks completely different. So what I found is the best way to get the eyeliner right to the root, but also still see with your eyes open is you want to tilt your head back, have a mirror and look down into a mirror so that your eyelid is completely stretched. Also, if you have hooded lids or any excess skin, Skin, it doesn't like fold over the eyelid you know I always start off the wing by following the root of the eyelashes all the way till the end of your eyebrow and you normally just do that in like one little flick of the wrist like that <laughs> you see how quick and easy this eyeliner made that flick and also because it's a brush as well it tapers at the end really nicely as well and then what you want to do is you want to flip your hand back like this and start midway of the eyeliner not at the top because you want this bit to stay nice and tapered so I start midway of that eyeliner and I just bring it back to the lash line in the shape of a triangle slowly fill it in and literally that's how you do your eyeliner in not even a minute <laughs> let me show you how long wearing this eyeliner is like someone please tell me why anyone would need to spend 20, 30 pounds on an eyeliner when you can get the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna do the lips. I done this lip combo in a recent Instagram video and everyone went crazy for it. So I thought I'd show you quickly on my YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna start off by quickly lining the lips. This is optional, but I always feel like whenever you line the lips, it just makes everything look a little bit more like put together. Everything lasts a little bit longer as well. I'm using the suede matte lip liner in the shade Free Spirit. And then I'm gonna go in my new current obsession, which is the fat lip oils. I've been using the shade religiously. I literally had to get it out of my handbag to show you guys in this video this is the fat oil lip drip in the shade follow back and it's like this really gorgeous golden nude which also smells amazing it literally smells like 
candy and the amazing thing about this is that it literally looks like a lip gloss but it is a lip oil so it's so hydrating it's a lot more moisturizing it's not sticky at all it makes you look a little bit more sun-kissed because of the golden shimmer in it okay guys that's it for this quick little makeup tutorial i really want to keep this video snappy to the point and show you quick little tips that i do whenever i'm in a rush but i still need to look cute and put together at the same time this video is kindly in partnership with nyx professional makeup which is such a 360 moment for me because I've been using their products for years. It was so hard for me to choose even these three products so I want you guys to let me know what are your favourite NYX professional makeup products down below in the comments section. I'm just going to run out the door now but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!